Tune in to Basement Talk. I'm your host, Riz the King. <laughs> G-Ray, coming out of St. Louis. Get my phone, it's an argument about <laughs> pride. Man, I'm telling you, so this is real life for me. <laughs> Inches. <laughs> Basement talk here, Riz the King with your boy. What up, G? Yep, yep, yep. Hey, so who's the king of R&B? That's been circulating the last couple days. All because some silly nigga named her, uh, sorry, I said it, silly nigga. And you wasn't wrong. <laughs> named Jaquise, claim that he is this generation king, which, you know, everybody going into frenzy, man, it's just, it's just stupid now, man. So who is the just king? Just first and foremost, this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. It's stupid. Man. Like, I, this is how you know you old, right? I'm 38 years old out here, man. And when you wake up and you hear somebody talking about is Jaquees is the R king of R and B. That's how you know I'm watched. I don't even know who Jaquees is. Then he could walk through this shoot right now, and I would I think he a pizza man or something. He worked for Domino's. I do not know who this guy is. I heard maybe half a song. I was gonna say that. Granted, I have heard him. I heard a song. I've heard of him right. and I've a heard song. Of him. Right. But all the song nowadays kind of mix in together, like they just be real hook and real melodic. They don't really stand out to me. Ain't nobody mind. really singing. It's all like quick little words. Yeah, it's like, like half rap, half singing. Yeah, yeah really that it. Drake, that style, that yeah. you know. So, um, uh, first thing I want to say, the king of R and B for me is James Brown. That that's for me, old school James Brown. Um, he's already You're way bad. far back. Way, I mean the original. The original. I'm black and I'm proud. Right, rhythm and blues. <laughs> way back, the the father of it. Um, after him, uh, you could go into a Marvin Gaye. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think that's what Jay Holiday was referring to when he said, "Hey, our our, our, our two, two kings are dead." I'm, I'm. The, my guess is he's talking about. James Brown yeah. and Marvin Gaye. He could be go uh, Gerald Levert. Gerald he could go to Gerald. Yeah, you could go so many different right, ways with this thing. Right. Um, you got to give Bobby Brown his credit. Bobby Brown in the late eighties was that guy. Like straight up, straight up, hands down. He Bobby Brown was on fire. He came and hit the scene and went crazy with, the, then, with that second album. Right. But then, he only had one. He album. only had one album. But he's still universally respected off one album. No, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody um, know who he is. Right. But, but between um, that and the crack. <laughs> right, and Whitney. <laughs> and Whitney, right. Um, but for Jackie's to say he's j this generation, no, you're not. No, not even. So even the Jackie's disrespecting people. We ain't even gotta go back that far. He's disrespecting younger people. Right. Usher is better than fucking Jackie's. Right. Usher right. been in the game. He was like 13, 14. Right. And lasted this Usher. long. Usher killing uh, Jackie's. I'm not gonna say this guy name, but nasty man, uh, uh, pee pee man, R. Kelly. I said. Glad you said. I, 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 said. I mean. R. Kelly is talented as hell. I would go say, you know, but what? I don't, I don't mess with, I don't, I don't like the acknowledge okay. him no more. Let's just, I mean, I'm, I, I gotta acknowledge we talking about R&B. Okay, outside of all the other stuff he did, R. Kelly body of actual musical work, right? Is pretty top notch. I feel you. Know what I, I, I got a daughter, and I don't. I don't no, no, no. I, 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 I totally agree with that. I got a niece. You know what I'm saying? So I know what you're saying, but I'm yeah. just saying. But when it comes to music, his, he his music, strictly has music. To be, he so, has, his music has to be respected. I personally don't listen to his music anymore, no, like, I don't. ever. I don't. Oh, no times do I put on no, some of his music. No, so, but I, he has to be respected right, yeah, as one of the greats. Because even before the allegations, his first few albums were, you know what I'm saying, well, well point, right? classic. He, yeah. he needs to go down as one of the top five guys. Strictly musically, though. Chris Brown and, like you said, Usher for yeah. a decade was running the game while, <laughs> while R was going through his thing. Um, he not Jackie's is not even on Chris Brown. No, he not. Chris Brown's better than Jackie's. Right. What's Jackie's thinking? Uh, I don't know, man. This is just so foolish. It's like, just, wait, 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 you got Neo. Neo hit the scene and was killing the game. Yeah. Right, for other people yeah. writing his own stuff. Neo was cold. Does this, do, you know more about it than me? I guess. Does Jackie's have a hot album that he can refer to? Because mm -hmm. even Bobby I don't Valentino, know. Bobby Valentino got one hot album. <laughs> like so, he not above Bobby Valentino. I don't even know. I know. I heard one song with Jackie's, and that's it. So, I mean, like, like I said, maybe we disrespecting them, but I'm saying if if you ain't got enough buzz to make me be like, okay, this dude cold, then right. maybe you can't be the king. You can't be the king no, if you ain't got enough buzz to make everybody come grab you. He's definitely not the king, no. but I think this points to another thing. Not to, I'm sorry to, if I'm killing y'all millennials, but this points to a bigger thing. Nowadays, everything got to be the goat or the greatest of all time, or I'm the king right now. 
No, you're not. Like, he has no right to say something like that. Well, I think it all started with uh, Lil Wayne, though. When uh, Lil Wayne said, I'm the best rapper alive, he said that, like, early. It made people be like, wait a minute, well, let me see if you are. It could be like clout, like, like, come, like come look at me now. You know what I'm saying? It's making people talk about it. Think about it. We weren't talking about Jack before this. You know what I'm saying? It's, he did what he wanted to do. Right. It's a no lose scenario. Right. Because people, if they don't know who you are, then people are at least going to Google you or exactly. YouTube something to right. hear what you're talking exactly. about. So it's from a, from a uh, marketing standpoint. Marketing standpoint. Yeah. From just him putting his name out there because I have no idea. If this dude got an album out right now, please tell me. Because I don't know what are some joints that he own that people just love. I heard one joint and I can't tell you the hook to save my life. I don't even know. And I listen to R&B. Like, I listen to R&B and I don't know who this dude is. But, um, no, nah, that's way too many names. He got to jump. He is not this. If you only been out for a year and a half or two years. No, you and you only got one or two songs that the masses know about. You is no way a king or no, anything. Exactly. At all, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's people that's younger than him that's been out. I'm not younger than him, but just been out doing his age. Is right. Him. Just him. the last ten years, right. Chris just Brown, five years. You can go with five. You know what I'm saying? Five. So you ain't gotta go there. But I'm just saying. So Jackie's, you fooling us. You're not fooling us, I should say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you may be fooling the people, hey, but, but we know. These, maybe to these teenagers. That's what I said. He fooling somebody. These teenagers, is he, hey, 18 to 21 probably believe him. Hey, like. you know what? He probably got Snapchat followers. It's like, you know what? He's <laughs> right. <laughs> he said it on Snapchat. Hey, but if you peep, though, um, if you're 23, Chris Brown is old to you. Yeah, that's Think what about I'm saying. That. Like, Chris Brown, to me, is a young cat. He, I was, right. He was popping off at 05. I was already 25. That's what I'm saying. He was so, like, he came out 16. I was a grown man when he came out. Right. So yeah. to me, he's the young guy. But to right. these 20 year olds, these 20, if you're under 18, 25, 19. Chris Brown is older. Right, yeah. They look at Chris Brown like, yeah, he done. Mm. <laughs> no doubt. So I don't know, man. King R&B, who is it? James Brown. It's not Jaquise.